Now then, Douglas and Master Report for the Zero Waste Cooking School. Today we are cooking with Lauren Singer. What an honor to have you, one of my heroes, in this kitchen. Mine too, you. Thank you. Lauren, today what are we, uh, what are we cooking? We are making Japanese breakfast, my favorite breakfast in the world. Beautiful. So Lauren, tell us the inspiration behind this Japanese breakfast. Well, it's, it's somewhat you. Uh, <laughs> the first time I met Doug, right after I went to Silo Brighton, I took a trip to Korea and that's where I had my first Asian breakfast. Rice and grilled fish and vegetables and it was so incredible. And being someone who hasn't historically liked breakfast and always been avoidant of cold, sugary American breakfast, this totally blew my mind and I've been eating it since. So, you know, we wanted to make it today and with a Doug twist. A London twist. Um, instead of grilled fish, we're going to have the infamous London smoked mackerel. And we're actually going to use the frame of the mackerel to make the dashi, which is an integral part of the recipe. So, we're going to make the dashi. We're going to basically use these dried shiitake mushrooms and some dried uh, British kelp. Put it into the pan with some water. And basically simmer that for 40 minutes to make our dashi. Lauren, I'm going to show you how to cook perfect rice. Thank you. <laughs> so take um, one part rice, uh, not washed, uh, one and a half parts water. Bring it to a simmer with a lid on. And then when it comes to a simmer, turn it right to the lowest heat. And then when the water runs out, when there's no more moisture left, turn it off. Keep the lid on, done. So simple. <laughs> Okay, we're going to pickle some cucumbers and some shiitakes. With the cucumbers, um, just chop them really thick, like that. And then we're going to put a big hit of salt on them. And then leave it for 20 minutes until the salt um, dissolves. And then just drop a pickle over it. Look at that salt shaker. And, uh, serious, wow. serious business. Real chef shit over here. <laughs> Basically, leave that for 20 minutes and then just pour over a pickle, which is one part water, one part vinegar, one part, oh, half a part sugar, and just don't boil it, then just literally pour it over from like simmering, done, overnight. So this won't be ready until tomorrow. What does the heat do versus um, like a cold pickling liquid? Um, speed of pickling. Okay. Yes, uh, speed of pickling. It's too hot, it'll kind of go brown. Mm -hmm. Uh, so we want it just to stay a nice little bit green. And so to pickle the shiitakes, this has been simmering the dashi now for about 40 minutes. Mm -hmm. So the flavor has been extracted from the shiitakes. So now we've taken the flavor away from them, we want to put flavor back into them. So we're going to put the shiitake into our pickle. This is closed loop cooking. We've taken the power out of the mushroom and the power returns to the shiitake. So Lauren, this is the fun, messy bit. We're going to use this beautiful knife to chop up this beautiful oh my gosh, fish. I want to know how to do this the right way. All right, so take off this little gill okay. from both sides. Then we're going to go in with a blade right behind this neck. You can feel the flesh. So you can feel this kind of collarbone. And we're going to cut right down the collarbone. Um, both sides. Okay, take the head off. Take that over there. Then we're gonna you can take that off if you want. And then we're gonna go down. You can see the spine. Yeah. And the spine's only like a millimeter, two millimeters thick. Down each side of the spine, like that. Do you want to do that one? Yeah. So approximately there, all the way down. It's good to rest your palm. Keep your fingers tucked away. Keep the knife flat. Uh, see, see, that's you've got the tip in. Mm -hmm. Put the whole blade in there. Okay. Yep. And give it a, get a little bit of a gliding. Yep. Yep. So you want to glide down that spine. I mean, I, I just, I just really yeah. didn't do that right. That's <laughs> right. That's right. Now this is the um, wonderful moment where we take the skin off. Lauren, one of the most lovely circular cooking things about this dish is that all of these frames go into the dashi and that is the, the backbone of flavour in this dish. Uh, the smoky, rich, sweet, umami flavour 
um, imparted from that skin, that head, that frame, is going to make this dynamite and very lovely style. So. Very exciting. So this is a mixture of Szechuan pepper, sesame seeds, Korean chili flakes, seaweed flakes, um, dried zest, and it is called... Sajimi. Sajimi. Alright, we're going to plate up now, Lauren. Time for some breakfast. Can yeah. you please do the rice for me? Yes. Thank you. Oops. Well, that was perfect. <laughs> so, I mean, really. <laughs> Nicely done. So, Lauren, the uh, seaweed from our dashi, we're not going to waste. We're going to slice it up into little bits, and then when we drink our dashi, we can um, gobble it up. Okay, Lauren, let's eat this. Um, eat this Japanese breakfast. That is absolutely divine. Not of the broth, but of my English accent. Um, um, mm. you're into it? Like, yeah, it's, uh, it's all yours. It's all yours. <laughs> it's so good. Good, excellent, excellent pickles. Yeah, you into it? Yeah, oh, yeah. This is, uh, and do you like the London? The London touch? It's a loaded question. <laughs> <laughs> yes? <laughs> so, fun fact about Doug, he just has like amazing vocabulary words all on his wall in his room. We were looking at them and one of them was one of my favorite words ever, which was... Entropy and entropy in effect is nature favors chaos and I, I tend to embody that a lot and when I eat it's it's pretty chaotic it goes everywhere and I like to just make a mess with my food and enjoy it and end of chaos transmission <laughs> <laughs>